Good morning, how's it going? So it's Wednesday and it's uh, going on eight o'clock. So at least the sun is up. It takes a while for the sun to come up, as you know. Came out to give you some listening practice. So it's uh, 48 Fahrenheit outside this morning. That's 8.8 .8 Celsius. And my hair is wet, but I'm not quite as lazy today. <laughs> so I think it's okay to come out and practice. Um, we've been talking about words that we can replace the word boring with, and we've talked about tiresome, and we've talked about monotonous, and today's word is tedious, tedio, for you. When something is tedious, it's boring, it's something that is just repetitive and, and not interesting at all. I'm hoping that these recordings don't get that way, but we'll see what we can do. So I could say it was just a really tedious day. There were so many small details I had to look in and I was into and I was getting bored. Or I could say that job is so tedious that I really am not interested in doing it. So tedious. The other things we're looking at today, since it's Wednesday, we're looking at heteronyms. Heteronyms, as you remember, are words that are spelled the same, pronounced differently, and have different meanings. So they're difficult and they're interesting, and they can be confusing when you hear them if you don't know the difference. So I think it's important to practice them. The two words we're using today are console, and console. Console. A console is when you're in a car and there's a driver's seat and the passenger seat and between it there is a space where you can put things. Maybe it, uh, it has a lid that opens and you can put your sunglasses, your Kleenex, a map, different kind of things that you need. Mr. Mendez tells me, if I can say it correctly, console, 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 Console do carro. Someday I will learn how to pronounce Portuguese words. <laughs> so for an example, I could say, um, I got in the car the other day and put my sunglasses in the console. Or I could say about once a week, I need to clean out the console because there are so many little things in it. Okay. The other word is console. If I console you, you're having trouble, and I try to let you know that everything's going to be okay. I try to make you feel better. Console. So I could say, could you please go in the house and try to console your sister? She's upset. Or I could say, I was so frustrated after the loss of my father. It was hard to console me. Okay, so console emphasized on the first syllable is the noun. Console, emphasized on the second syllable, is the verb. And those are important words to know about so that they aren't confusing to you. So today I'm going to have a few students and it always turns out being fun. I think it's so important when you're learning a second language to find a way to make it fun, find a way to make it relaxing because it shouldn't be a stressful thing. It shouldn't be something where you have to do this right or I'm gonna get mad. That's ridiculous. Just try to relax and have a good time and you'll learn faster, okay? Let me know if there's something I can do for you. Always, if you can, look something up, look it up. I shouldn't have to look on Google to say, Oh, this is how you pronounce it and show you that way. That seems kind of silly, but I'm always willing to help if I can, okay? So let me know if you need anything and be sure to make it a good day. If you don't, it's your own fault. See you tomorrow.